my name is Patrick McKinney. I'm a trauma resuscitation nurse, and I work predominantly at a Legacy Emanuel Emergency Department, a level one trauma center in uh, Portland, Oregon. We probably establish access, access, peripheral IV access, in a good 80% of the patients that come into our emergency department. And it's always a challenge with um, sick patients establishing access. Having your portable ultrasound machine on you just just takes the load off where you've got your machine, it's at your side, it's ready to go, and you don't even have to leave the room. I mean, I know that it's clean because I cleaned it. I know what the settings are because I've set them. It's your trusty machine that's just on you. I do not encounter any resuscitation where a provider is not using POCUS. I've not seen a procedure done, um, especially when it comes to placing a central line without POCUS or a, or a block that's without POCUS or a resuscitation where we're, you know, the patient's crashing. We don't know why they're using POCUS. We're doing CPR. We don't know if they have a pulse. We're using POCUS. Placing an A-line, we're using POCUS. So um, it, it really makes sense for the nurses to use POCUS as well. We now train emergency department RNs to place ultrasound lines. The ability to use needle vis to see your needle tip and know where your needle is it just makes it so much more accessible to nurses, um, especially in that learning state. If Butterfly and if um, you know these medical imaging companies can produce systems that make it easier for people to get access, you know that's going to benefit the patient, and that's what it all comes down to.